Okay, we're ready to begin assembly of the uh, spindle hub. So we'll first do that by dropping the spacer down inside and let it, it drops all the way to the bottom and seats against that snap ring that's down in the hub. And then we're gonna get, uh, next we're gonna install the races down inside here and we'll use this tool that is included in this kit. This is a two part kit a spindle holder and this seal and race driver and i'll show you how that works so what i'm going to do now is i'm going to uh, go get my races out of the freezer they've been in there about an hour and that's supposed to help installation a little bit so let me get go get those and then we'll drive those in and, and take it from there okay here's the uh, race out of the freezer it's been in there about an hour and a half or so i guess it goes obviously it's pretty self-explanatory it goes this way this side up and that way you can drop the bearing in that's all pretty uh, self-evident when you do it the cool part about this tool is that this will help you if you are driven seals and races before this this tool will help that so we're going to use the a what skag calls the a end here and we're going to drive that in like that and we're going to drive that seal or I'm sorry, that race all the way down to the bottom of that spacer that we just installed. All right, as you can tell, I was, you know, where we started from was up in here somewhere we drew up, where we drove it down, and it becomes self-evident when it seats to the bottom because it becomes, you'll hear it, feel it you'll feel it and hear it when you uh, seat it uh, down to the bottom of that spacer. I will flip it over and install the other race on the other on the top side next. All right, here's the top race. It goes in uh, the top there, just like that. It's a little frosty, as you can tell. And you just drive it down till it seats on the top of that snap ring that you see down in there. Same uh, same procedures last time. You kind of see how it starts easily, I guess. I don't know how much of that's the freezer helping that out or not. Uh, and then we'll use the A side here and drive that down until it seats. All right, next we're gonna put the um, bearings in. We'll start with the bearings uh, on the bottom. This is what I'm using. This is a really high quality Timken bearing called, I think this is called a set four. Those numbers you see there are for the race and the bearing and i'll list that in the description as well so i've already uh packed my bearings that's important and critical got that done and then we'll uh, drop that in and then we'll install the uh, seal next and then you'll see how cool this tool comes in handy on the next step all right, we have two different uh, seals to install. The SCAG numbers are 481, 024, and 025. If you forget which, is, which one is which, you'll figure it out common sense because this one is the bottom because it has to go over this big uh, washer or spacer that goes on the, on the bottom like that. So this is the one we're going to install next is the bottom seal. All right, we're gonna put the bottom seal in, and for those of you who've never done this before, there's the you know, the rubber part of it, and that's to keep the grease in. So common sense applies that this our outer part, the rim here is gonna be up, and we're gonna place it into the hub like this, and then we're gonna use this tool, the other side now, the B side, to uh, install the seal like this. And what we're gonna do is now we drive this down. This, this is uh, made so that you drive this down flush for the top and you get the proper depth on your uh, bottom seal. All right, there's what it looks like when it's, the seal is at the proper depth. Just drive it down to that lip uh, engages the face of the hub all right uh, now we'll install these two internal parts these two spacers right here remember they call this a spacer it looks like a snap ring but it unhooked anything i'll show you that in just a second 
All right, next step is uh, we got the hub right side up. I'm going to drop the small spacer ring. Again, this looks like a snap ring, but it doesn't do anything but drop down into there and set on the face of that uh, bottom bearing. And then this spacer just drops in on top of that. And then we take the other bearing, which is the same as the bottom one, and place that in there and then we'll put the seal on top and I'll show you how to do that in just a second. All right, we got the bearing in. Here goes the seal next on the top. We're going to use the B side of this tool to again drive this down in place. Now again, you're not going to but you're not going to drive it all the way up to the up to the lip of the tool. You're only going to drive this top seal till it is even or flush with the face of the hub. So don't overdrive it here. All right, e, uh, all that's left to do now is to, um, you know, get the spindle back in the holder in the vise, drop the hub on, drop the bushing in, uh, torque this nut down to 150 foot-pounds, and then uh, pump it full of grease until it comes out the other side, just like you're servicing on your mower, and then you got your uh, spindle rebuilt. I'll put the part numbers in the description for those you want to buy uh, parts and do this yourself. And the again, the special tool we use from Skag is comes in a kit for 7003. Okay, good luck. Thanks for watching.